Hey guys, welcome back. It looks like the issues with the gold Pikachu and Charizard, those heavily sought after gold, metal, whatever you want to call them, cards that are included in the Ultra Premium Collection are rearing their ugly faces again, at least in the grading world. Uh, so if you haven't seen them yet, the first video here is one that I, I made when PSA stopped grading them. They were finding issues with damage. If you haven't watched that video, you can go back and do that. I'll put the link to that and the second one that I made here, uh, which also included the fact that there were celebrations packs with random cardboard inserts instead of trading cards, which was kind of cool. Would have been more cool if they actually printed on them. But today, more importantly, we are going to talk about the CGC statement. We're going to speculate a little bit on what's happening with these. So I know a lot of people, because they couldn't grade them with PSA, panicked and wanted to get them anyway. I'm trying to tell everyone, do not touch these things with a 10 foot pole until they've resolved the issues. And now those issues are with CGC. So that wasn't even a good option either to grade them with another company. The best thing to do here is wait. If you have a raw copy that you wanna get graded, just wait. Just, just wait. So as we've seen, we have Leon Hart purchased that CGC Perfect 10. Wouldn't surprise me if all of a sudden it starts flaking up. Just because it's a high grade, just because you think they might not grade them later on, they're definitely gonna all grade them later on. They're just going to have to come out with a solution to the issue. CGC seems to think that shipping is the bigger issue. I. I kind of doubt it. I haven't tested any of it myself, but from the looks of things, yes, the damage is happening later on, but I have a hard time believing it has anything to do with the, the cases themselves, the PSA case or the CGC case. We'll read through their statement right now, and uh, I have a, a little bit of a bone to pick with them about the last two statements that we'll take a look at. Uh, I think it's unacceptable. So here we go. Temporary delay for submissions of metal trading cards posted on 3-4-2022. I don't know how I haven't seen this until now, but thank you very much, Kevin, for sending it my way. Um, I haven't seen anyone talking about it, but maybe uh, I'm just out of the loop. Kind of doubt it, but maybe it wasn't as big of a deal. Um, but they're, they're not grading them anymore, uh, even if you have them submitted to them. I think rightfully so, if it's resulting in damage. So they say, orders containing metal cards from the Pokemon Celebrations Ultra Premium Collection are being delayed while CGC Trading Cards adapts its holder. So here they're kind of blaming the holder. Released in October 2021, the Pokemon Celebrations Ultra Premium Collection includes two metal commemorative cards a Pikachu and a Charizard. Unfortunately, due to the manner in which they are manufactured, the metal cards are very fragile and can be easily damaged in transit. So now they're gonna blame transit, but I don't, and I gotta, I, I have a hard time believing it isn't something to do with the Sonic Welder. Um, if they're coated, so maybe the Sonic Welder is kind of loosening everything up. I haven't seen any damage on ones that people have just sleeved or anything of the sort shipped outside of a graded case. So I don't think they even move around in the case. I could be wrong on that. If anyone knows, let me know in the comments if you have one. If it's if there's any movement in the case itself, does it seem squished? I have images of it. It doesn't seem like even the areas of that are affected are somewhere where the case is actually touching it. So we'll take a look at some examples as well afterwards. As a result, CGC trading cards will delay the returns of submissions containing these two cards while it adapts its holder to ensure that these fragile cards are better protected against rough handling. So I think this is probably the, the case as a smart business decision where you return the rest of the cards to the customer and just give them the option on either not grading or holding off on the the metal cards. I mean, how long is it gonna take you to figure out what's wrong here? How long is it gonna take you to develop a new case that 
prevents the damage. I mean, surely you'll have to test a lot of things to make sure that it's not going to have the same issue to find out exactly where the issue is. I haven't seen anything yet in terms of uh, data from PSA or CGC in terms of testing and you know, what are they doing to remedy the, the situation. Uh, so, as mentioned, CGC Trading Cards does not yet have a timeline for the holder updates and testing, but the process is being expedited to the fullest extent possible. I mean, regardless of how expedited you want to make it, if you have to make a whole new case and if you don't know what the issue is at this point in time, it's uh, it can take a very long time to, to resolve it. So, an announcement will be made once this holder is completed. At that time, submissions of metal cards that have already been shipped by CGC Trading Cards may be resubmitted under its reholder service for encapsulation in the new holder. So that's great and all, but there should still be some sort of compensation for the people with the damaged cards, and there's no note of that here. And in fact, we have a little disclaimer. Please note, due to the fragile nature of these metal cards, CGC trading cards cannot be held responsible should any damage occur to a Pokemon Celebrations Ultra Premium Collection Pikachu or Charizard card during transit, to or from CGC trading cards facilities. So I think this is absolute bullshit. I think if your case, whether it's being shipped or not, is resulting in damage, I would even, I if I had to bet on what it was that's causing the damage, I'm gonna say it's the sonic welding process, not necessarily shipping. Shipping might you know, result in the actual damage happening, but I think the, Sonic Weld is probably making these more fragile than they originally are. Again, I have never seen one uh, with damage in a standard case. Outside of a graded case, that was sonically welded, aka PSA and CGC. I don't know if any of the other grading companies have done these and have resulted in the same issues. If they have, and if anyone has examples, again, send them my way. Probably best to do so on Instagram or Discord. Usually the best way to get in touch with me. So this statement here, almost completely 180 to the final statement, which says, CGC Trading Cards is dedicated to providing collectors and dealers with superior encapsulation that protects and preserves cards. We appreciate your patience while the team identifies the best solution for safe, safely encapsulating these metal cards. So... We're not responsible for the safety of your cards and our process probably is messing them up. But you know what, guys? Don't worry. We're really dedicated to providing you with safe encapsulation. Again, for anyone that doesn't know this, graded slabs, graded cases do not provide any protection from water damage. They're not water, they're not airtight and they don't provide any UV protection. So you can't just leave them on your shelf in direct sunlight. They will fade. I probably have one here somewhere uh, that uh, Silver Snorlax sent me. It'll fade. Put it in the sun, same thing will happen to a raw card. Put it somewhere moist, it's still gonna ruin your card. It's basically a top loader. Um, moisture and sunlight can still harm your cards. So don't think there's this extra level of security. Um, and even then, as we're seeing here, if I had to guess, I'm saying the Sonic Weld is messing uh, with the coating a little bit and making it more fragile, and then we're seeing some damage. So someone sent me this. I apologize to the person that did because I cannot remember exactly who sent it to me. Uh, if it's you, leave a comment below. And uh, I'd like to say thank you for sending it to me. But this was a while back, and I figured this was the same type of damage uh, that CGC was was seeing. So here we have our example here. And you can see there in the bottom left corner or bottom right corner of the screen, currently we have some damage on the CGC card. Now, as soon as I saw this, I thought... CGC, definitely going to have the same issues as PSA. I don't know what's happening for sure. Hopefully they figure it out. And again, guys, don't rush to get these graded. Don't rush to get anything graded. The grading companies, the main ones, or the ones that should still be around, 
will be around when the hype days are over, which I think are pretty much coming to to an end. As we see stuff retrace, we'll see less evil devil scalpers, uh, less of these flip dippers, less card kahunas, and all the all the sorts. Um, so here's a, a close up of the damage. Again, looks very similar to what we see uh, usually on the corners. This is the a PSA example where you have these blemishes that are kind of happening on the edges. Again, probably probably just Sonic Welder. If it's vibrating the card and if it loosens things up. And then shipping or handling or anything of the sort, maybe just even over time, it's going to want to flake up or flake off because of it. Again, I haven't seen it on any raw copies. This is uh, an example of a card that when it leaves PSA, just a, an example to show that um, the damage happens afterwards. So it's not immediate. So it is a little bit hard for them to test. I would imagine this will come into play. Um, they'll have to test out the new holders and then also, I don't know, put them in a paint shaker or something to see if they can, if they can replicate the damage and see if they can prevent that damage. But either way, as I've said before, I'll say it again now, just be patient. Don't submit your cards. Don't buy these right now. Get them reholdered if you can. Uh, looks like they're going to offer that. I would like to see them at least make a promise that if it does damage your card, then they will compensate you for it. Especially if you're sending it back in to get reholdered because their process was allowing the damage to occur. If it was something that was out of the norm, or someone like really beat on their case or something like that, and it resulted in damage, sure, I get it. They shouldn't cover that necessarily. But this isn't abuse. This is just normal day-to-day -day happening on from multiple grading companies. It's on them to figure it out. And uh, we can only hope that they, they rectify the situation. Thanks, guys, for tuning in. If you have any questions, anything to add, again, feel free to reach out, join the Discord. See you next time.